Welcome. This is the video on Linux private and public key pairs. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to create them and how to then put the public key on a um, host that's going to be the destination where you're going to be logging into. Um, for those of you who don't know, a private and public key pair is used so that you do not need to authenticate every time that you're logging into a host. So uh, it uses the um, key pairs to authenticate behind the scenes. And in doing that, you do not need to log in every time um, with a password. And you can just get right into the machine. It's very nice. So the command to use is SSH keygen. This is going to, by default, use the RSA uh, ciphers to um, create your key pair and so do ssh-keygen hit enter it's going to create a public and private rsa key pair right here this is my home directory the dot ssh directory and it's going to create an id underscore rsa private key so we're going to just do the defaults here because um, that's the simplest way to do it so hit enter. It's going to say to enter a passphrase. A passphrase would make this more secure, but it will defeat the whole purpose of why we're doing this. So do not put a passphrase in here. Hit enter. It says enter the same passphrase, which is nothing. So hit enter again. And now it says your identification has been saved in my home directory, uh, the .ssh folder. ID underscore RSA is the private key. And then it's there's an also also another um, file idrsa.pub, which is the public key. So we're going to clear the screen, um, and what we're going to do now is another command to uh, share the key, the public key, onto a destination host. So I'm going to log in to another machine, um, and to do this now. We can use a simple command called ssh copy id. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to transfer. It's going to use you. Uh, you're going to log into a machine, and it's going to transfer your public key to the same uh, to the authorized key file, uh, and that is going to allow you to log in to a destination uh, host. So. The host destination host I'm going to use is just something I have set up, and we're going to hit enter. And now it's asking me for a passphrase. So I'm going to put my passphrase in, hit enter, and it says number of keys added to. So if we look it up here, it says attempting to log in with the new keys to filter out any that are already installed. Uh, two keys remain to be installed and two keys were added. So that was good. So now it tells us, hey, um, let's try an SSH into that host. So now if we go SSH kvm onestrospccom whoops. I'm logged in. So as you can see there, we did not do any uh, any um, passwords at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you where that file was sent. Because we just did SSH copy ID, and it did everything for us. Uh, you can do this manually. You don't have to do SSH copy ID to do this. So like I said, um, if we go into we're in our home folder right now so this is my home folder i'm going to go in ss the s dot ssh folder and you'll see there's no id underscore rsa dot pub there's no you're like well where what is it doing well there's an authorized keys file here so if we go into the authorized key files uh we can look here and right here, where I'm putting the cursor, 
is the SSH-RSA public key. And it's going to go down, um, if I hit end here, it goes down to the end. And it's telling me at here the host name for the PC that had the RSA key, public key on it. Um, so that is where the, key, the uh, file went. Um, if you look here, there's below it, um, let me go up to here. This says SSH DSS. This is a different key pair um, that is there. So it, RSA isn't the only thing you can use. You can use DSS and there's others. So, um, but I just wanted to show you how to do RSA. And that is the very simple and basic overview of how to um, make an RSA, SSH, private and public key.